We often rely on analogies to understand complex concepts. They serve as bridges connecting the unknown with the familiar, making the abstract more tangible. Electricity, with its invisible forces and intricate interactions, is no exception. It's a phenomenon that can be both mystifying and mesmerizing. While analogies like water flowing through a hose can be helpful starting points, they can also mislead us, painting an incomplete picture of how current truly flows. These simplifications often fail to capture the nuances and complexities involved. To truly grasp the elegance of electrical circuits, we need to delve deeper beyond these simple comparisons into the realm of electric fields and surface charges. This deeper, deeper understanding reveals the true nature of electrical interactions. This journey will unravel common misconceptions and illuminate the fascinating reality of electricity's intricate dance. It's a dance that involves countless particles and forces working in harmony. Our everyday experience with electricity often revolves around turning on a light or charging a phone. These simple actions mask the complex processes happening behind the scenes. We rarely pause to ponder the invisible forces at play. Yet, these forces are fundamental to the operation of our devices and the conveniences we enjoy. This exploration aims to uncover those hidden mechanisms, revealing the elegant interplay of electric fields, surface charges, and the movement of electrons within a circuit. It's a journey into the heart of electrical science. By understanding these fundamental principles, we gain a deeper appreciation for the technology that powers our modern world. This knowledge empowers us to innovate and harness electricity in new and exciting ways. A common misconception is envisioning electrons as tiny energy carriers diligently ferrying energy from the battery to the light bulb, like little workers on a mission. This picture, while intuitive and easy to grasp, doesn't align with reality. Electrons, while crucial for current flow, are not the, palm, the primary energy carriers in the way we often imagine. They don't zip through the wires at the speed of light, delivering energy packages like microscopic couriers. Instead, their movement is, is much more lethargic. In reality, electrons move rather sluggishly through the wire, their progress hindered by constant collisions with atoms in the conductor structure, which slows them down significantly. The energy transfer, rather than being a direct hand-off from electron to bulb, is facilitated by something much more ethereal and pervasive, the electric field, which is invisible yet powerful. This field, established near instantaneously by the battery, acts as the true energy conduit, guiding and propelling the flow of energy throughout the circuit, ensuring that the energy reaches its destination efficiently. The analogy of water flowing through a hose, while helpful for visualizing current as a flow, breaks down when we examine the intricacies of electron movement. Unlike water molecules confined within a pipe, electrons in a wire don't have a clear path. They constantly collide with the atoms in the, in the, in the con conductor, these collisions generating heat and impeding their flow. Moreover, the, the water analogy fails to capture the crucial role of the conductor itself. The wire isn't a hollow pipe, but a material teeming with both positive and negative charges. The interactions between these charges, influenced by the electric field, play a crucial role in determining the overall current flow. The water hose analogy, while providing a basic visual, oversimplifies you know, the complex dance of charges within a conductor. It's tempting to think of the battery as a miniature pump, diligently pushing electrons through the circuit like a piston driving water through a pipe. However, this view diminishes the battery's true role as the orchestrator of the electric field. The battery doesn't push electrons in a Kankistian, uh, a mechanical sense. Instead, its primary function is to, to establish and maintain an electric potential difference across the circuit. This potential difference, like an invisible hand, sets up an electric field that permeates the entire circuit, reaching even into the spaces between the wires. 
This field, not a direct pushing force, is the true driving force behind electron movement. Electrons influenced by the electric field move in a manner aligned with the field lines contributing to the overall current flow. The key to understanding current flow lies in recognizing the often overlooked role of electric fields and surface charges. When a voltage is applied to a circuit, it creates an electric field that extends not just within the wires but also into the surrounding space. This field, established at the speed of light, acts as a near instantaneous communication network throughout the circuit. As the electric field establishes itself, it influences the distribution of charges on the surface of the conductors. These surface charges, often overlooked, play a crucial role in guiding the flow of current. They rearrange themselves in response to the applied voltage, creating a configuration that ensures a uniform electric field within the conductor and dictates the path of current flow. Jarnum's section 6, the speed limit of information. Signal propagation versus energy transfer. The fact that the electric field establishes itself at the speed of light might lead one to believe that signals in a circuit also travel at this breakneck pace. This is a common misconception that needs to be clarified for a better understanding of electrical circuits. However, it's crucial to distinguish between the propagation of the electric field and the actual transfer of energy, which carries the information we associate with the signal. The electric field's rapid establishment does not equate to the immediate transfer of energy. While the electric field does indeed establish itself rapidly, the flow of energy, and therefore the signal, is limited by the speed of light. This means that the actual energy transfer, which is what we rely on for communication and signal transmission, happens at a slower pace. This ensures that causality, the fundamental principle that an effect cannot precede its cause, is maintained. In other words, the cause, the electric field, must always come before the effect, the energy transfer. The speed at which a signal propagates through a circuit is influenced by factors like the permittivity and permeability of the materials involved, which dictate the speed of electromagnetic waves carrying the signal. These material properties are crucial in determining how quickly or slowly a signal can travel through a given medium. Section 7. Lumped versus distributed. Choosing the right lens for circuit analysis. Traditional circuit analysis often relies on the lumped element model, which simplifies circuits by representing them as interconnected components like resistors, capacitors and inductors. This model, while useful for basic analysis, has limitations, especially in high-frequency applications or circuits with long wires, where the physical dimensions of the circuit become significant compared to the wavelength of the signals. In such cases, the distributed element model provides a more accurate representation. This model considers the distributed nature of capacitance, inductance and resistance along the length of the conductors. Choosing the right model lumped for simplified analysis or distributed for higher accuracy in complex scenarios is crucial for obtaining meaningful results in circuit analysis. Section 8. Beyond the basics, embracing the complexity of electronics. As we've seen, the seemingly simple act of turning on a light bulb involves a fascinating interplay of electric fields, surface charges and the movement of electrons. While simplified analogies can be so pumped so chumsy as so be helpful starting points. Truly understanding current flow requires us to embrace the complexity and delve into the underlying physics by moving beyond basic models and recognizing the limitations of simple analogies. We gain a deeper appreciation for, for the elegance and sophistication of electrical circuits. This understanding paves the way for innovation and allows us to harness the power of electricity to design and build increasingly complex and sophisticated technologies. Section 9. Resources for further exploration, illuminating the world of circuits. For those eager to delve deeper into the fascinating world of electronics and circuit analysis, a wealth of resources awaits. 
Online platforms like Brilliant offer interactive courses and exercises that provide a hands-on approach to understanding complex concepts. Books, articles and videos from reputable sources can further enrich your understanding. Embrace curiosity, explore different learning materials and never hesitate to ask questions. The journey of discovery in the realm of electronics is an ongoing adventure filled with wonder and endless possibilities.